name's Carly. I work at the Exploratorium and this is a plankton net. What we're going to be doing today is dragging for plankton. Plankton are any creature in the ocean that can't swim against the current to determine where it lives. And so I'm looking for the really, really small ones, which will go in this net. Take a tenth of in between the smallest lines on your ruler. That's how big, that's how big the holes are in this mesh. This will filter out anything bigger than that and anything smaller than that because plankton are so abundant in the ocean that no matter how much water we get through here, we'll still get something. Now if you look down into the bottle, you'll be able to see all the swimming things and all those dark specks. Those are all different kinds of plankton. Here we are. We've just collected our plankton sample using our plankton net. And we've got our sample here in this jar. Um, we're in the clean room of the Exploratorium Laboratory upstairs. It's going to give it a little shake to resuspend. But I don't want to shake it really hard because it might damage some of the tiny fragile parts of our plankton. Okay, that's all we need. Just a few tablespoons to get a really thick sample of stuff. I see phytoplankton, which are the plants of the plankton. And I see zooplankton, which are the animals of the plankton. I see lots and lots of diatoms, which are extremely important because they're the primary producers are at the very bottom of the ocean's food chain. Think of a, a crowd of people, everybody moving in every different direction. That's what it looks like in here. You can see many of them are attracted to the light and they're all swimming to this side of the dish. If they were to swim up to the surface in the ocean, that's where the light is and that's where photosynthesis occurs and that's where their food is. We've turned off the light in our clean room so we can focus on what we're looking at in our sample. It's so we don't have any ambient light and we can just look at what's lit under our microscope. We've moved from our clean room inside of the laboratory to our demo station at the Exploratorium. The microscope we have out here so we can look at our plankton blown up on a screen and make it a lot easier to see. There's a couple of different kinds of plankton that we can see. We can see plankton that spends its entire life in the water, and we can see the middle life stages of some creatures, like a sea urchin or a barnacle. Well, they spend some of their lives floating in the water, and the rest of it, they pick a spot on the bottom and they live there forever. In order to see them even closer, we're going to make a slide on here. And to keep the water in place, I have to make a special slide using a gasket. We can't just take the drop and put it on the slide and squish it with another piece of glass because we're gonna kill all the stuff that we wanna look at. So we're gonna take this special piece of silicone and place it onto the slide and that will create a little well for it to go in. I'm squashing it down so that no water will escape out from underneath the edges and we'll take a small drop from our sample and make the slide. We only need a tiny bit because the, the well is really small. Now to protect the microscope and make a nice flat surface, we're gonna put that piece of thin glass we talked about right on the top and give it a little squish. And now we have a perfectly flat surface of water to look through under the microscope. This arm keeps it in place and I can move the slide around with this knob and look and see what we have in here. And I found something kind of cool. And I'm gonna press the button down here and we'll look at it on this screen. Adjust the light, and there we go. This is a Noctiluca. It's called that, It had its common name is the sea sparkle. Watch the ocean, the waves go up and down and you can see the water sparkling. It's because these bioluminesce, they glow. 
if you look really closely, you can see it sort of moves right here. That is its flagella. It's like a little propeller. It uses its long arm to move around in the water. Now we can see two things, two different kinds of diatoms in this slide. We have the really big one, right, the real big one, and then the small circular one. Those are both plants, they're just a different kind. As you might have noticed, um, I didn't really catch any zooplankton. Well, that's because they move around so quickly that it takes a little bit of practice to get them out. I caught them one at a time, and I put them into a slide just like this that we made with a compound called methyl cellulose, which is like a gel that doesn't, it doesn't kill them, it just slows them down. So that way I can catch them in the slide and make the video. All circular one. Those are both plants, they're just a different kind. As you might have noticed, um, I didn't really catch any zooplankton. Well, that's because they move around so quickly that it takes a little bit of practice to get them out. I caught them one at a time, and I put them into a slide just like this that we made with a compound called methyl cellulose, which is like a gel that doesn't, it doesn't kill them, it just slows them down. So that way I can catch them in the slide and make the video.